As invited by the President of Mongolia, President of the Republic of Korea, Mrs. Park Kyung hee attended the SM11 summit and is paying an official visit to Mongolia on July 17th and 18th. During the visit, Speaker of Mongolian Parliament, Mr. Inkwald, and the Prime Minister, Mr. Erdenbat, will pay courtesy calls on President Park Kyung hee also, the latter will attend the Mongolia-South Korea Business Forum and have a meeting with the South Korean nationals living in Mongolia. It is expected that the President Park Kyung hees visit will make huge contribution in strengthening the comprehensive strategic partnership, deepening political dialogues, intensifying economic cooperation, and intensifying people-to-people -people relations. President of Mongolia extended deepest gratitude to the government of Republic of Korea for active support through non-refundable aid for organization of the SM summit. The heads of state unanimously emphasized the importance of increasing trade and investment volume and developing counter complementary and mutually beneficial economic ties. They noted that the Mongolia-Korea Joint Committee on Economy will play a key role in achieving such goals and agreed to further take active parts in intensifying the committee's activities and in establishing effective mechanism of cooperation. With this visit, the sites have agreed to launch projects on construction of Natural History Museum, Joint College of Information Technology, and in sending engineering specialists to South Korea for professional training. In the margins of the visit, the two sites signed more than 20 cooperation documents. For instance, the Korea Economic Development Cooperation Fund inked an agreement on implementing project Smart Education on the financing of soft loan of 19.6 million U.S. dollars. Also, on the 25 million U.S. dollars loan from the Korea Economic Development Cooperation Fund will provide an implementation of Phase 2 of project on interstate and city public transport. In its scope, Mongolia will receive 200 buses for public transport. The sites also ink documents in cultural cooperation, tackling desertification, cooperation in energy, healthcare, and information technology. As for aviation relations, regular flights have been commenced since last June between Ulaanbaatar and Busan, and the flights are of great help in boosting tourism. Moreover, Mongolian side once again requested the South Korean government to broaden relations in education and culture through enlarging the number of Mongolian students to enjoy Korean government grants and scholarships and elevation conditions for Mongolian passengers traveling to Korea. As a country located in the Northeast Asian region, Mongolia confirmed its position and support for free of nuclear weapon Korean Peninsula for security and peace in the region and efforts to utilize every means of peaceful negotiations. Mongolian side also applauded the effort and consistent participation in the Ulaanbaatar dialogues, which aim at building trust and strengthening regional understanding.